Our next guest is a brilliant actress. She won the Tony Award for her stellar performance in Proof. You can currently see her as Bradley Whitford's love interest on The West Wing. Take a look. Come with me. I have no idea what you just said. I said he happens to be more feminist than the White House. Feminine? Feminist. He wrote the amendment to the HHS appropriations bill that made violence near abortion clinics a federal crime while you guys were seeking legal commentary. Forgive us for talking to lawyers about the law. He almost single-handedly beat back three parental consent bills, and on two of them he ran his own damn whip operation because they weren't leadership priorities. The minority whip doesn't work for him. And he ties the Violence Against Women Act to the last crime bill Amy, over White House objection. I'm not quarreling with his credentials as a lover of women. I happen to know he excels in that area. Look who's talking. Ooh, please welcome back to the show, Mary Louise Parker. Well, hi, Mary Louise. Yeah. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, we're here to talk about your boyfriend. <laughs> the Billy uh, Crudup is your partner, and he yeah. is in The Elephant Man on Broadway at the Royal Theater, and he is brilliant. He's magnificent. He really is magnificent, really and is. it's a great, great show. It is a great show, and I think that people, when they hear The Elephant Man, I think they freak out a little bit, and they think it's going to be, you know, upsetting yeah, and depressing disturbing. and disturbing, and it's not. It's you know, it's it's actually short. There's no intermission. Yeah, there's no intermission. <laughs> and there's nudity. Yes. For those of you at home. There you go. Interested. Yeah, Kate yeah. Burton. Takes off her top. Boobs really to nice. the wind. Really nice. And Billy in his in undies. His underwear. Yeah. It's a good show. <laughs> I think he's going to win the Tony for that. Well, I hope so, because you said that for me, and then it worked for me, so. Well, there you go. I said it for you for proof, and you did win, because yeah, you deserved it. And I think he you. deserves he, it as well. What a great it. That's a hard thing to play. It is. It's such, and it's such a brave performance. It you is. know, to try to play someone who has that kind of... I know. ...challenge in life, and to do it so convincingly without, just with his I own know. body, is pretty astounding. And I think it's a, it's a simple performance in a lot of ways, so I think, I think sometimes people don't really understand a performance when it's really, really difficult, another right. actor can, or someone who goes to the theater a lot, but that performance is, yeah. it was hard, and yeah. it was, it's brilliant. Now, is it tough with the eight shows a week? Do you get to see each other a lot, or it's Yeah, but he, he's schedules. really tired, you know, yeah. his back, yeah. his, and his face, you know, gets contorted a lot, so he's right. tired. And are you out in L.A. a lot doing West Wing? I've gone out a few times, a few times. to do it, yeah. yeah. Are you going to be on again next I am. Yeah. I have to leave tomorrow to do the last two episodes. Excellent. Yeah. Do you have fun? It's like such, it's almost it's a different really language, fun. what you're I speaking know, there. I know, and I have absolutely no idea what I'm saying. No, <laughs> no, no. Do you know what? No, I'm like calling my dad from the set, going like, Daddy, what's a caucus? Please, someone call me. I, like, I have no. No idea. I have to learn it so that, and I really have to understand it before I can say it. Yeah. Naturally, when I read it, I just, I have yeah, I did a part on um, Third Watch once, and I was a, a paramedic, and I had to, like, say, you know, four cc's of epinephrine and three <laughs> four chicka baka I had no idea what I was I know, doing. I, I just know. kept going, clear! You know, I don't know. <laughs> Seems like that's what you say when you're a paramedic. It's hard, yeah. It is hard. But that's a fun show to work on, yes? West Wing? West Wing. Uh, the writing is just so extraordinary. Aaron Sorkin's just... He's just a genius, I it, think. I was there on the, on the set when we did a behind the scenes before you were on, and I was shocked to see how you have to do it word for word. Like, a lot of times on sitcoms, or if you're a comedian, you get to sort of mm -hmm. make it as close as you can. Not because you're doing a better job, just because that's all that you... Right. But this, it's word for word. Yeah. Well, I think when text is that good, you really want to be specific to right. it and honor it. Right. And his text, you know, he was a playwright. And, and it is so specific, and a lot of the things that you're saying are, you know, words that aren't necessarily <laughs> familiar to all of us. So you just have to be really careful with the text, and, and you do have to honor it completely. Right, yeah. And I'm used to that, because in the theater you yeah, do you that. Yeah, you see, you're so. better than I am. I was so... <laughs> I'm not good at it. And not on purpose. I just cannot remember. Well, you're probably clever, and you can put funny things, and I have to... Well, I'm not really that clever. I, in fact, once uh, I got so bored when I was doing my run of Grease, that I would just change the lines for fun. Oh my God. And the other actors were not <laughs> amused. They were like, what the saying? hell is he doing? <laughs> I thought when I was supposed to go, hey, where's Kanicki? I went, hey, anybody seen Kay? 
know? uh, right, it's right. kind of similar. <laughs> I think comedians learn to do that because yeah. you're looser. And yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Now tell everybody about the PSA that you directed and produced, Miss. Yeah. Um, well, I brought actually my director's cut, which is <laughs> hilarious to actually for me to say that because I never wanted to direct and I still don't. But this is something that my girlfriend Elizabeth and my niece Kirsten and I just felt really passionate about putting out you know a reminder something to just just further the awareness after september 11th there was so much grieving and so much tragedy that there was a whole other set of people who were victims as a result you know from misdirected anger and violence and it just it's so tragic to think that you know people who are americans were afraid to leave their homes you know and it just really you know Got it really, to you. yeah it was just we, so upsetting on top of everything else you know i'm such a crazy patriot and i love being you know, American and a New Yorker, and and so it was just—I just really wanted to. Do I wanted it to be a positive message, and and a lot of people haven't embraced this version of the PSA, which is confusing to me. But okay, well, let's take a look at specific. it, and we'll see. Take a look. Following the tragic events of September 11th, there have been hundreds of violent attacks against innocent Americans. A Pakistani man's back windshield was shot out while driving his four-year-old daughter to daycare. Vehicles were rammed into Islamic centers in Ohio and Indiana. A 21-year-old, full-blooded Native American was run over twice and killed. A Sikh woman was slashed in the head while stopped at a red light. Remember what that flag you're waving stands for. Remember, don't persecute the innocent. Please stop the hate. If we don't respect one another, who will? We are strongest when we are united. Remember, remember what that flag you're waving stands for. One nation. Under God. Indivisible. With liberty. And justice. For all. In America, there's either room for everyone, or it's not America. Well, that's beautiful, Mary Louise. Well, what do you mean by people haven't embraced that? Who would, I mean... Well, oddly enough, and it's just so many people, the editor and the DP and the cast just donated their time, and that was just really moving to me, and they did such brilliant, beautiful work. And I think uh, some people were afraid of it, that it was too specific recounting those incidents, because those incidents are disturbing, but I think people should know, yeah. you know, because yeah. it's, it's bad, and it's tragic, and it's happening here, and yeah. it's just important to know. I remember I, was, I told this on the show right after that, but like a week, a few days after I went to get gas and I went inside to pay, and there was a young man who was Arabic, and he was looking down about 18 or 20, and he wouldn't look up. And I handed him the dollar, and the $10 or whatever, and he wouldn't look up. And finally, I wouldn't let go, and he looked up, and I said, thank you, and he started to cry. And I'll never forget that my whole life. Like, of the whole thing of September 11th. Oh, that, there, yeah. yeah. There was a lot of that. And, like, that kind of act like what you did. I remember a lot of that because people were so beautiful to each other in New York, you know. There was so much generosity and, and so much kindness amidst everything else. And so I think it's important to, to remember that and to focus, focus things that way, like the way you did. I think that's the best thing we, right. that we can do. Well, it's a beautiful, a beautiful message, I think it really is. Watch uh, Mary Louise on the West and Wing. And see the elephant. And man. go see the elephant man with Billy Crudup. Why, you will love it. It's really a beautiful performance. Thanks for being here. We'll be right back after this break.